Hi, DW Berman here, and I'm going to show you how to drive animation in After Effects using an audio clip. It's pretty simple using the built-in tools. And uh, this is also a, sh a short introduction to expressions. Um, here I have a timeline with an audio clip in it. If we look down here at the, uh, the waveform, we can see uh, the volume or the, the loudness or the amplitude of the waveform, where it is... Uh, where these lines are farthest away from the center point of the line, uh, it's loud. And where it uh, kind of tapers down here into not very far away from the center line, it's quiet. Anyway, make sure it's selected. Go up to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, Convert Audio to Keyframes. This creates a brand new layer that uh, has a bunch of keyframes in it. I'll just hit E for all the keyframes. Actually, if I, t uh, yeah, if we look here, it's an effect, so it's in the effects, and one of the effects is both channels, and it has a slider ch uh, channel, and that has uh, all the keyframes in. We want to use these keyframes here to drive animation, and uh, if you look closely, if you look at the, the number down here, you can see that that changes based on the loudness of the audio track. So when it created this track, it just kind of copied the amplitude over. So, what can we do with this? Lots of things. First thing, I'm just going to drag this uh, picture in here. And I'm going to hit T for transparency. I'm going to say, hey, wherever there's an explosion, let's make the picture show up. And where there isn't, it'll just you know kind of be faded into the background. So I'm going to... First thing I have to do is I have to turn on an expression on that layer. So I go to animation and add expression. So now on the opacity channel we have an expression and the expression says hey be yourself transform opacity and you know the dot is a separator. Uh, we don't want that we want the opacity to be this driven by the slider keyframe. So I'm going to grab this little swirly thing here that's just called the pick whip which makes things building things like this in After Effects really simple and just to drag it up to slider and let go and what this creates a new expression and the expression says hey in this comp that you're working on now go to the layer audio amplitude which is right there audio amplitude and then in the audio amplitude layer there's an effect an effect called both channels which is right here and in that both channels layer there's a slider and the slider is where the keyframes come from so it's a very simple expression. It looks more complicated than it actually is. To say, that's great, but, you know, I actually want it to get brighter. I want it to get to 100%. 100% when it's uh, full. So I'm just going to hit the star key and hit 2. Star 2. That means multiply this value here, this keyframe up here, multiply that by 2. And I hit enter the enter on the numeric keypad and that closes that out and as you can see the opacity is now 95 percent instead of uh, what, 49 percent or whatever it was before and that's just the brightness now we can do other things with this too like say rotate now the keyboard command for making this into ex and adding expression here is alt shift equals uh, grab the pick whip drag it up to slider and now we have the slider again just for fun I'm gonna drag the anchor point down to the bottom now we can see it rotating based on the volume uh, and if you want to reverse that you want it rotating the opposite direction put a minus in front of the line minus in front of the, the expression I have an extra one there So now it's rotating the opposite direction. Say I want it to be more centered. Okay, well, I'll just add 30 degrees onto it. So now it's kind of waving back and forth in the center. As you can imagine, you can make an audio needle doing this. So, and T, let me, uh, on the opacity, I'll just turn off that. So that is a very basic introduction to, uh, expressions and audio.